What a phenomenal first round. That really did uh, clear away the cobwebs for judges and spectators alike. And this was the man that started it all off. Tremendous height again. And now this is when the consistency side of the whole thing kicks in. You've got to hit six rounds of dives at this level. And anything outside 80 points at the moment, Chris, is looking a bit ordinary. Yeah, there's going to be no chance of a medal unless you're up into the mid-80s. Look at this jump. Leona there on a reverse three and a half somersaults made it look easy. Just uh, needs to work on the entry a bit. But he made that dive so easily. 80.50. And we're going to see scores even higher than that. Two rounds in the 80s then for Avelana and some of the divers having to get clearance from air traffic control. The takeoffs are massive. Really good score from Jack Law with his first round dive of 72, but he's just been eclipsed. Twister then, second round for the young Brit. It's good. Yeah, very good. He's looking stronger and sharper. Every dive he does is going up high. He's such a young lad as well. To be that strong at just 16 years of age. There's the two. That's a reverse two and a half somersaults, one and a half twist. Just a bit messy on the end. Good. 77.55. You've got to focus at this stage on your individual performance, not get caught up in this uh, scoring fest that's going on. Brian Nixon, another man that contributed with a superb first round dive and couldn't get higher than ninth. Now doing a back two and a half somersaults, pipe position. This was his lowest scoring dive, but just at 70 points in the prelims. And again, just that little miss on the entry. That's a shame. Trouble is, they stick out like a sore thumb when the rip entries uh, are like they are today. Yeah, now, he felt very good on that dive. It's just the feel of the hands as you're reaching back for the water wasn't quite there. And the knee save just came a little too late. And so the feet kicked over. That's a bit of tension that causes that. 67.50. Drops outside the big scores. Yahil Castillo and Matthew Rossi going to perform the same dive in this second round. And it was Castillo that threw down the biggest challenge to uh, the Chinese in round one. And this was his weakest dive in the prelim. So he needs to hold it together. Not drop out the dive too early. In with three and a half somersaults. Oh, that's much better. He held on to the tuck longer, then reacted quickly. He's pleased with it as well. You can see by the reactions under the water. Good jump, fast spin, triple at board level, locks out on the end. And he made the in with three and a half look easy. Taking a lot of strength there in the biceps, pulling the legs in to get that tight tuck. I'm just saying, just rolled a little bit on the end. 79.90 though. Very good. Chirossi, same dive as we've just seen from Castillo. And at sixth position in this sort of company is excellent for Rossi. Yeah, another diver capable of getting over 80 points on this dive. Oh, he's oh, missed no. it. No, no, no. Our first miss of the competition. Well, the takeoff was good. I think he thought he was higher than he was and just came out too early. Great jump, fast spin, triple at board level, and then just drops out of it. She needs to stay in the tuck, feel the triple come around further, then see the water, and then out. He's coming out before he's seen the water, and he just can't pull the legs back up. 7 6 oh. yeah, As soon as you come out of those tuck positions, effectively you are stopping the rotation. And uh, that's when you get in trouble. It is a fine margin at this level. Kuznetsov then, fourth position, good start from both Russians. He's moved up three spaces. Massive attack on the board and a really good dive. Yeah, two and a half somersaults, double twist. Again, looking very easy because he's got that takeoff. Good throw here into the somersault, now into the twist, then the second twist. Looks at the water. Just the feet moving apart, coming out of the twist as he squares out to grab his hands. Feet need to stay together there. Entry's good. 
didn't get the slap on his hand. There you can see left arm on top of the head, right hand on the chest. Head is in the right position so there's no wobble. Good position in the air as he's turning around. Just seeing the feet move apart here. And that's the mistake where the judges will knock off half to one point. Still 78-2-0 though, so still a good challenge from Kuznetsov. Alexey Prigorov has got a good tariff. This is his highest on his dive list at 3.8. And it's the first of our forward four and a halves. Yeah, the big four and a half. Oh, that's a lot of dive. And I, I just still feel it's too much for Alexey. Uh, the problem he has is that he feels it's a hard dive and then tries to throw down. He has cut off his height. The dive's moving forward. And so he doesn't have time to kick out needs to be more relaxed on the end of the diving board. The dive would then shoot up and he'd have an extra metre to get the out. He's just run out of room and couldn't straighten out. Oh, 53.20. That's disastrous for him. That's the dive that Zakharov finishes with and it could be a dive for a medal for Ilya come round six. Long way to go in this competition though beforehand. Prigorov Rather like uh, Rosse with a miss, counts himself out of any challenge on the medals already. Troy Dumay, though, still in the hunt. Yeah, it's good. What an entry as well. Disappeared through the water. So Two-time silver medalist in this competition is looking in form. There's the double twist. And got a real good feel on the palm of his hand as he cut through the water. So double twist after one and three quarter somersaults, finishes high. And that was a Chinese entry. Yeah, it's easy to forget that uh, Dumay has a good history in this competition. 91.80. We might be heading for another medal at this rate. Good stuff from Dumay. Sanchez with a, a little bit of mental rehearsal before his second round dive, 10th position. He's dropped back. Well, he's saying something's putting him off in the water. Or was it on something on the end of the diving board? So if any time the diver is distracted, they just have to say to the referee, just wait a minute, I'm not ready, and that's allowed. It could be caused by bees swimming around your head or the wind or, or anything. But they're difficult dives, and they need to be composed and ready so they don't get hurt. So this a forward three and a half somersaults pike. Oh, no, no. just overcooked it. Just tried too hard, I think. Well, he was distracted at the beginning. I don't know quite why he asked to uh, have some extra time before he went. Oh, good pike position. Needed to be out earlier. He's spinning very fast. He's really high. Needed to be out on the triple, not on the three and a quarter somersault. And it just couldn't stop that dive. It's like driving a Ferrari without any brakes. Oh dear. Forty-four nine five, big miss from Sanchez. Well, you can't come back from that. There's no chance of a medal, not with the standards of the other divers. No, who's going to hold their nerve today? Ilya Zakharov. Back three and a half. This we think is the strongest challenge to China for their bid for uh, an eighth gold medal yeah, he's changed order as well he's going to use his front four and a half at the end oh it's just about there from Zakharov the uh, Russian fans trying to disguise that rather messy finish yeah it kicks out just a little early arches his back and manages to pull the dive around so there's a little bit of a miss there there's a the triple some sort kick in he needs to kick up more he uses his back to aid him get around 77 marks, Zakharov just drops off the pace. A chance now for the Chinese then. So Twister for Ching Kai in round two, sixth position. After the first round, 3.4 the tariff. He goes 3-4, 3-5, 3-4, 3 So nice and solid all the way through, but not the highest tariff by any means. Yeah, but this was one of his best. It was in the 90s in the prelims. Good hurdle. Uh, it should be close again. I just love the way 
that the Chinese divers make the dive look finished. Again, he's using the board. board just goes right down. If that was on the one metre, he would have dipped it into the pool and finishes so high. When you're finishing high like that, it's so easy to get your entry correct. Arms to the back of the ears, locks out. Well, actually, just slightly short of vertical. But the rest of the dive is very good. Went 91 before. He's done exactly he's the same score. 91.8. Very good from Ching Kai and that little nod of the head. Just confirmation that he is certainly going to be back in. Top three, I would imagine, if not better. He Chong then to finish off. Now, this man is under pressure, the Olympic champion. But as we've said before, the Chinese divers do seem to deal with this pressure. It does seem to fuel even greater efforts. Low tariff dive, though, for him in the second round. Yeah, so the maximum score he can get is 90 in the prelim. He's at under 80 points on this dive. Can't do that here if he wants to win this competition. Oh, beautiful out. Uh, incredible jump. He was uh, way above the three metre on the double somersault. He has to push his feet down towards the end of the diving board. Watch this. Feet down at the board and then reaches back. But has a kick over, so that's not going to be a 10. So he won't get 90 points on it, but that is a way that you would like to be able to teach a back two and a half pike. More changes on the leaderboard. It's He Chong that uh, will temporarily inhabit sixth position in this competition, having seen Ching Kai go there before, and a shake of the head confirms that the Olympic champion is not happy. Ching Kai does take over in top spot from uh, a former medalist, Troy Dumay. Yahel Castillo hangs on to third and Zakharov relative the rest with his miss drops down to fourth it uh, is a fascinating fascinating competition but the standards remain very high indeed